Bad news, everyone. Your back brace is making your back worse. And the reason why it is possibly making your back worse is because you're wearing it incorrectly. So in this video, we're going to talk about all the things you can do to correct that problem to help heal your injury. Let's go. What's up everyone, Wubo here and welcome back to my channel. Now, as I started this channel in the first place, it was always to educate you guys on orthotics, prosthetics, tech, and anything in wellness and healthcare. Now in this video, once again, we're gonna talk about your back brace. Now as a certified orthotist prosthetist here in Boston, Massachusetts, I fit these all the time. And the problem is I see a lot of people wearing these incorrectly. And when you wear this wrong, you are actually not healing properly and you're causing a whole world of complications. And it makes me wonder if they're just wearing it incorrectly because they weren't paying attention or maybe that their medical professional didn't go over how to properly wear this device. So here's my disclaimer. In no way should this video ever replace you seeing a doctor or a medical professional. This video should be only used as informational based, education based, and so that you can be your own advocate. You should always have a conversation with your medical professional and talk to them about why you are wearing a device like this. And you should be taught how to properly wear this. So if you were taught how to properly wear this, or let's just say you bought this online and you didn't quite read the instructions, that's why I'm here to provide you that education. So pay attention because I'm gonna go over this and make sure that your outcome is as best as it can be. So first let's get into the anatomy of the back brace itself. I promise I'll make this pretty quick, but you should know what you're looking at. Now looking below, this is the brace that I'm showing you today. It's a very simple back brace and it's really designed for those who have low back pain. Usually you have other braces that help with spinal fractures or that also help with uh, spinal support or post-surgery. That is not this video. This is a simple back brace that you will find on Amazon or you'll find at Walmart or even may be provided to you by your medical professional to provide you back support and help relieve your pain. The problem is you're not wearing it right and that's why you're here. And what I'm gonna show you right now is what you should look for in the brace that you're wearing. So first, this is the inside of the brace. And then the inside of the brace is very simple. Some of them have this little rigid back piece to provide you support, some don't. It's okay if you don't have a rigid piece on it, that is fine. If you do, even better. But ultimately inside the brace, you're going to find the Velcro and the fabric side that's going to help don the brace a little bit easier. Now, when you flip it over to the other back side, you see here that you have these little pull tabs on the side. Some braces have one, some braces have two, there are braces that don't have any. Me, I prefer to have at least one or two on them because this is gonna help tighten the brace once you wear it correctly. Now, what you want to look for in a brace is to make sure that these pull tabs are nice and big and easy to grab. If they're skinny, small, made out of fabric, it's gonna be very difficult for you to grab and pull on them. So you wanna make sure it's kind of rigid, a little bit hard, maybe made out of plastic or leather or something that you grab very easily. And then if it has a wide mouth, as you can see on this brace down here, is that makes it a little bit easier for you to grip, maybe slide a few fingers inside of it and pull the brace to make sure that it gives you a nice snug fit. So this is what you wanna look for as the basic need of a back brace, just in case you wanna purchase one yourself, or if you're provided one from your doctor, you can look for it and make sure it applies to what I'm discussing with you today. Now I'm gonna go over the most common mistakes I see when I see patients wearing these braces. I see it all the time in stores, when I'm out and about, or even in the hospital. And I wanna make sure that you are wearing it correctly. So these are the three most common mistakes when wearing this back brace. So next, let me just get changed here. All right, so the first issue I'm gonna show you is wearing the brace too low. I see this all the time. And most people confuse it because you have low back pain and most of your pain is right here in your lower back, that you have to wear the brace this low. No, 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 that is not the case. By wearing it this low, you are not allowing the brace to support your spine itself. You are actually squeezing your hips, and this is all bone. So you're gonna cause a lot of discomfort and cause a lot of issues down here, and you are not relieving your back brace. So first things first, do not wear the brace this low. Next, wearing it over bulky clothing. Now you may be living in New England like myself, or you may be living somewhere where it's cold or wherever, but you don't wanna wear it over thick, bulky clothing. This device works best if it's directly against your skin and, or 
right over a t-shirt of some sort. When you wear it over bulky clothing, you got to understand one thing. When your clothing moves, your brace moves with it. And that's a problem. The brace needs to be very intimate to your body and make sure that it is providing you the lumbar support that you need. So make sure that you are not wearing it over a jacket, a big bulky sweater, or anything of that nature. It either needs to be directly against your skin or it needs to be over a t-shirt. That's it, nothing more. Next, wearing it upside down. Yes, you would not believe how many times I see people wearing the brace upside down. Sometimes you have to throw your brace on pretty quickly, but you know what? If you're wearing it upside down, you're not doing yourself justice. So make sure you're wearing it correctly. As you can see, this looks like I'm wearing it right, right? No, if you look here in the back, you see the label is right here in my lower back. It needs to be up here. This label is a great indicator to tell you exactly how this brace should be worn. So make sure you are paying attention to how you are donning this brace because you want to make sure that you are getting the best support you can and not just walking around looking weird. So what do you think, huh? Does it sound like you? Are you doing one of these three things? Ah, I thought so. Or maybe you see someone else that's doing it. But just make sure you can always make the correction. And now I'm just gonna go over how to properly wear your brace, how to properly don it, and what to look for. So let's get changed again. All right, so here we go. This is how you properly don your brace and what you should look for. So first, once again, you have your brace. You have your inside, you have your back portion, and you're making sure that the label to your brace is up not down. You want to make sure that you're wearing it incorrectly and not upside down. Now, the easiest way to put on this brace is to make sure that you put it over your lower back. So when you put it over your lower back, you want to make sure it's at the center of your back, not low against your hips and not high against your ribs. This brace needs to fall right in that sweet spot, right in between the top of your hip and just below your lower rib. So that's exactly where your brace should fall. So make sure you have it in that place before you close yourself into the brace itself, okay? Now from here, what you wanna do, and the easiest way to do this, is to lean against a wall or a door frame. By doing that, you can focus on putting on your brace and not have to worry about the brace falling off of you. It's very easy to try to put on the brace like this, and as you're making adjustments, it starts slipping and moving. No, the easiest way, make sure it's at the center of your back, lean against the wall, and close yourself inside of the brace. So that way, when you step away from the wall, it's right where it needs to be. I particularly tell my patients to use a mirror or something right in front of them, so they're not constantly looking down as they're trying to put on the brace. They can look forward at the mirror, they can put the brace on correctly, and make sure it's right where it needs to be. From here, once you have the brace on, you grab your pull tabs, it may be two of them or maybe one. Make sure that you have your thumbs or you have a good grip in them. Pull the brace out to your side, not to the front, out to your side. If you pull it to the front like this, you're gonna put a lot of strain on the brace and possibly break it. And I can tell you right now, if you break these straps, you can't fix it. There's no way to fix it. So make sure that you pull the brace and the straps out to the side and a lot of them, like I said, have these little Velcro tabs. So you wrap one over and you wrap the other over. And they stick right there and you're done. You can walk away from the wall. You can turn around. You have all the support that you need. So make sure that when you're putting it on, you are doing those things. Now let's get changed. And that's it, guys. That is the entire video on how to properly wear your brace. Now I'm going to go over one last tidbit here that you should know that a lot of people have problems with. When you're wearing a back brace, sometimes when you get in and out of a car, the brace shifts up and down a little bit. I just want you to know that's a very common issue and you shouldn't have to worry about that. There's no adjustment that a doctor or someone can make to help relieve that because the reason why it's doing that is because the brace itself is designed to keep your legs and your back at 90 degrees when you're sitting down. When you sit in a bucket seat, like a car, your knees are higher than 90 degrees. And when your knees are higher than 90 degrees, your brace is normally just gonna slide up. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you're aware of it and just know that's just something that happens when you're in a vehicle. Once you get out of the vehicle, readjust the brace, make sure it's giving you the support you need and you should be fine. 
Now, if you like this video or you feel this video is helpful, please make sure that you hit that like button below that helps support the page. Every time you hit that like button, it allows me to share this information with other people throughout YouTube. So please make sure you hit that like button and provide me the support I need so I can keep providing this education. Also, if you're new to the channel, just hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Anytime I post a new video, you will be the first to know. But overall, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.